This is 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. Article 1, Section 6 of the Constitution provides that no person holding any office under the United States shall be a member of either house during his continuance in office. This provision helps to protect the principle of separation of powers and emphasizes one of the differences between the American constitutional system and the British parliamentary system. U.S. cabinet officers, called secretaries, are nominated by the president and confirmed by the Senate. One definition of secretary is an official who presides over an administrative department of state. In the 14th century, the term referred to one who is entrusted with private or secret matters, a confidant one privy to a secret. The word bureaucracy refers to the workplace where officials do their jobs. The term came into use before the French Revolution of 1789 and frequently had a negative connotation. In a letter of July 1764, the French Baron de Grim, for example, wrote, We are obsessed by the idea of regulation, and our masters of requests refuse to understand that there is an infinity of things in a great state with which a government should not concern itself. The late Monsieur de Grunet sometimes used to say, We have an illness in France which bids fair to play havoc with us. This illness is called bureaumania. From this perspective, the purpose of administrative agencies was not to carry out the laws in the public interest, but to preserve jobs for public officials. The term bureaucracy continues to have a negative connotation for many today. That's all for today's episode, 60 Second Civics, where civic engagement only takes a minute.